The President needs our unified and unqualified support in his efforts to free the American hostages in Iran without injury. And I will do nothing to diminish those prospects. I said that I will not second guess our president in this crisis, and I won't. But as a nation, we must focus on what we can do to avoid future crises. We need not know the outcome of today's crisis to know that this must never happen to America again in our lifetime. I propose that we assemble in one crack military unit 50,000 of the best of all of our military services, a group that we shall call hereafter America's First Brigade. Let's train the First Brigade in anti-terrorist tactics. Let's train them as a mobile strike force that can intervene anywhere in the world to protect American lives so that we can say and mean it, never again will this happen to the United States. And to underscore our peaceful intentions, let's offer the use of America's first brigade to the United Nations for disaster relief. And let's deliberately honor and show off the first brigade here at home. Let's make the protectors of our peace heroes again. When we're embarrassed to honor the men and women in our armed forces, when we shun our Vietnam veterans, we do more than jeopardize the all-volunteer army. We jeopardize the security of our country and deserve every veteran who ever wore the uniform of this land. Let America's first brigade say it to the whole world. The America you once trusted is back. The America you once feared to cross is back. The America that cherishes peace but will fight for freedom is back. And in our generation, it's back to stay. Thank you very much. I don't quite understand. The force would be 50,000 and that it wouldn't be seen as an offensive weapon. The deployment of a brigade of American troops would not be overseas, except for the reinforcement of Marine personnel to protect American embassies. I do not propose that this nation become warlike, but America must resolve that she's not gonna be pushed around. That doesn't cause a war, that stops a war. The Shah's army killed more than 60,000 Iranian people with the U.S. equipped weapons. Why weren't you raising your voice in support of international law? And United States government shipped 150,000 barrels of oil for the Shah's army to kill the Iranian people. Why weren't you concerned about international law? Because, my friend, I'm interested in 50 Americans, that's why. And when those 50 Americans Trust it.